love your child with all that you have. It's not going to be what you think it is. It was going to be hard at times, especially those teenage years, to relax and to just pour into that child. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's going to take time and energy to work with your children. That everything is, will be fine. Make sure they understand the, the real life by going through a little trial when they're growing up. That's and they'll, be, they'll yeah. be better prepared for real life. Right. As they become men, it, they, they own responsibility for themselves. You know, you always try and be kind of the protective parent because you don't want your kids to get hurt or they might stumble, but you know, the stumbles are okay. Um, the failures are okay, just as long as they learn from them and get up and keep moving. Try not to control everything. Give choices and then let kids um, experience the consequences of their choices. Understanding that they will indeed make mistakes because we're all human and nobody's perfect. And just being able to say we love you no matter what you've done. And to be able to help them through the mistakes and help them through the difficult times. Sometimes the rules don't fit the situation and when you're too entrenched in doing it the right way, you miss an opportunity to really develop in your children a certain individuality and freedom and independence that um, that's really your role, the role you have as a parent. And sometimes being chained to the rules kind of messes up some of the things I think God has planned for us. I think the best advice is to keep your marriage strong. I think the best gift you give your child is a happy home and a strong, real marriage that shows them how to love each other, um, resolve conflict, and serve each other. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the crux of keeping your family together, is keeping your marriage together. Remember that, that my son is a gift, and, uh, and that I'm a steward of that gift. Um, I'm blessed by it. Uh, but I'm also called to steward that gift. Um, Always remember your child is a gift from God. Treat them like a gift. Don't dote over them, but appreciate them and, and understand that you are a steward of them. God owns them. You don't own them. So always seek Him. Uh, but rejoice in the fact that God created them in His image and that we are His instruments in raising that child up and God's patient with us too.